Hi, and welcome to our QL300 tech support video series. In this video, we'll learn how to print on die cut gap label material with the QL300 printer. Before loading the material into your printer, take a look at the inside of your label roll. You'll see a tag that has the material part number, which is eight digits, the material type, three digits, and the dimensions that you need to set up in your profile in the printer driver. Here we have a two and a half inch by two and a half inch gap label material type 260. On the right side you'll see all the dimensions that you need to enter in the driver. Now let's go to the control panel then devices and printers and right click on the QL300 and select Printing Preferences. Under the setup, click on User Defined Paper. Click New to start adding a new profile. Give it a name, for example, 2.5 by 2.5 inch gap. Move to the right. For media form, select die cut gap. For media type and weight, refer to the media settings chart. This material is type 260. Therefore, the media type is glossy and the media weight is heavy. Leave the sensor adjustment for now. We'll come back to it after we enter the dimensions and load the label into the printer. Now let's enter the dimensions. Click into the label length box. Notice the blue arrow indicating the label length. From the information label inside your roll, you can see that the label length Y is 2.5 inches. Enter the label width X from the label, also 2.5 inches. The right gap RG is 0 0.079 inches. The cardboard width, that's the total width of the label including the edge trims, that's 2.658 inches. Notice that we can't change the margin. For gap, it's 0 0.125 inches. Please note that we did not use these two values as they are not applicable to die cut label gap. Click the add button. Now this is a warning message because the label length is less than 4 inches uh, which is the minimum cut length. Just click OK. Notice that you can change the unit between millimeters and inches from here as well. And now that we've added the new size successfully, click Close and then click Apply. Load your label material into the printer. Open your artwork with Adobe Acrobat or any other Windows software and click Print. Select the QL300 printer and click on Properties to select the proper size. Select the size that we just created 2.5 by 2.5 inches. Set your quantity and make sure to uncheck collate. Then click print. If you notice that you need to do an offset adjustment, moving the image in any direction, go back to the setup tab click on user defined paper and utilize the print position correction. Notice the red arrow indicating the print direction. If you want to make an adjustment in the horizontal direction increase or decrease the X value. When you increase it notice the small red arrow indicating the movement of the image. If you want to make an adjustment in the vertical direction, utilize the Y position adjustment. Once done, make sure to click Overwrite for the changes to be saved. 
Now let's talk about sensor calibration. Go back to the control panel, right click on QL300 and select printing preferences. Click on setup and then user defined paper. Select the size that you're working with, click on sensor adjustment and follow the wizard. Give it a name. This calibration is based on media type and not size. Therefore, give it a name that relates to the material type. We'll name this 260. The printer will advance a few labels, and then the calibration is completed. Make sure to click Overwrite to the calibration. You can always recall calibration settings by clicking on Printer Information Acquisition. As a summary, today we learned how to print on die cut, gap label material, make offset adjustments, and complete a sensor calibration for the quick label QL300. We hope you found this video helpful. For additional video tutorials, please visit our quick label QL300 video playlist. Thank you very much.